everyone welcome back to the rabbit hole designs youtube channel this is tara and today i'm going to be using the hoppy holidays stamp set i love this set it's so cute i love that little bunny peeking out so for today's card what i'm going to do is do a one layer um watercolor card so i am using the arches cold press watercolor paper and i went ahead and stamped and heat embossed that with clear embossing powder um, it just makes it a lot easier using the Karen markers. So what I usually do is saturate the paper really well with water before I go in with those Karen markers because it does take a little effort to kind of blend them out a little bit. And I probably could have laid that color down on my cutting mat and then picked it up. But I just really like the kind of brightness of the marker when it's first laid down on the paper. So I did kind of go through and color sections. I didn't show you guys all the coloring because it did take a little bit for, you know, for each panel to dry. So for the first color I am using for the envelope um, is pale plum, pale violet, I'm sorry, pale violet. And it just kind of gave it, gave it a nice like purple hue. I tried to stay with traditional colors on some part of it, but the other parts I did go ahead and use um, a little bit brighter colors so for the little bunny I used one of the I'll grab it right now I use the warm gray two for the bunny and you know just like I did with the purple I went ahead and laid down my water first and then scribbled out a little bit of the color and <laughs> I tend to flip my pages a little bit just because I will put my hand in the wet part and you then you know usually you get uh, you could transfer color from your hand so as you can see I colored went ahead and colored my bunny I try to use the same colors at, a, at the same time like the green for the tree and the rainbow candy cane now the other candy cane with the bird setting on is just going to be the traditional blue or blue <laughs> words are hard today just a red and white color palette for that and it tends to stay kind of a little bit whimsy but not too over the top um like I said, this is going to be a, you know, it's going to be a pretty quick card for you to do. Dep depending on which medium you use, I do tend to like using just one medium. I know some people might go back in with like color pencils um, just to kind of brighten or deepen the shadows. But this Christmas card is going to my Grammys and she, <laughs> she likes it when I just kind of go in and just pick colors and not make it look like everything else so if you've not checked out the rabbit hole designs and you've not subscribed click the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell because there's going to be so many great things coming up um, I fully enjoy doing my videos so here okay here is where I went ahead and finished out some of the coloring and as I was laying down some of my colors like I'm going to be using the Gonze Tombi um, starry colors and I'm only going to use a couple colors and I think in this one I actually only used just the last gold um, and I just kind of laid it down like haphazardly there was no rhyme or reason to it I just wanted to get that shimmery back sh shimmery background so it didn't look so unfinished um, but as I was doing this I realized I forgot to color my bows and my back and the back of the envelope so I did I did finish my bows um, I just went ahead back in with that red and of course I heat set you know I went ahead and heat set everything so it would dry a little bit quicker usually when I use the watercolor cardstock I will back it with foam um, double-sided adhesive it just keeps it a little bit flatter but I just go ahead and go around everything. I try to lay down a nice thick amount of color just because I did go in with a little lighter gold. So after my background's finished, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp Hoppy Holidays on the top of my on the top of the card. Um, 
Now, because this is water paper, color paper, I do have to stamp it a couple times and kind of give it a good bit of pressure. The art just seems to have a lot of texture to it, so it's not going to pick up the Im any of the images right away. It usually takes more than one time to stamp it. So now that I'm done coloring, this is where I realize, yep, I forgot my bows and I forgot my envelope. So as I'm still doing this, I used double-sided foam and this is not the normal double-sided foam I typically use. It's just what I had handy. I'm waiting for an order to come in that has my double-sided foam. So I just back that on an A2 top folding card base and that is the card for today. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like I said, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you guys can see the new and exciting things coming at the Rabbit Hole Designs. So until next time guys, have a great one.